You won't be able to visit any exhibits inside the Art Gallery of Ontario, which remains closed today as 400 workers are officially on strike. These union members say they are fighting for a fair deal. Uh, has there ever been a strike here before? Never. This is the first time? History is being made. A first for Angelo Padari and hundreds of his OPSU CEFPO local 535 colleagues, who as of today are officially on strike after rejecting the AGO's latest offer sparking a labor dispute. Management forced us into a strike. They thought we wouldn't react. We th they thought they would take a, a really terrible deal. We don't. Padari tells us most of the people in this crowd make between thirty-five and forty thousand dollars a year working full time. One of the key issues they're calling for is a living competitive wage. The CEO makes four hundred thousand a year, plus he gets a consulting fee. We were asking for some back pay to make up the three years of one percent that we got from Bill One Twenty Four. Right. Thank you, Doug Ford. The bill that capped salary increases for some public sector workers but was later repealed. But wages aren't the only sticking point. Workers also want protections in place for the precarious workforce. And now you finally all come together and shown this employer what your work. Over 60% of our workers are part-time. Uh, we have a slow erosion of our bargaining unit of full-time jobs, um, folks retiring, and then uh, those jobs not being brought back, so just being left empty and then deleted. The AGO says it's ready to negotiate and fully available to work with representatives to reach a reasonable and fair agreement. Yeah, the message we're sending here is that the arts matter, but so do we. And this museum obviously can't run because they closed today without us. There's no word yet on when both sides will be back at the bargaining table, but the members I spoke with here today say they are ready to go back anytime. In Toronto, I'm Faisa Mean for City News.